What's up folks? It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. It's the day after muzzleloader season in New York State. The 2022 deer season is over and Timber and I are out today starting to work with Aspen to see if we can get him ready uh, to learn how to shed hunt. So today I want to talk to you guys about either uh, leaving or putting trail cameras up in December. Uh, for me, those places that were productive in the fall, I'll leave cameras out December, January into February. And uh, for those places that weren't so hot, I'll go in, uh, remove my cameras, and then I'll go ahead and take those cameras and put them in places that I plan to scout for next year. Uh, number one, it just gives me an idea of general deer numbers in that area. And number two, it gives me an idea of what bucks made it through the season, and if I'm going to new property, what properties may hold some shooters. Uh, this way it gives me a little bit more data to go ahead and uh, prepare for hunting next fall. It's the middle of December, uh, muzzleloader season here in New York State, and I got a bonus day. We got a heck of a rain, snow, and ice storm here in New York State, so I got a day off. So I'm getting out in the woods to uh, start doing a little bit of work, uh, collecting cameras, and beginning to move those for the beginning of scouting for next year, uh, bringing in some grapevine mock scrapes that I'm not gonna use again in certain places and starting to pick up my tree stands. So while I'm out today with a warm, wet, quiet, snowy day, I'm also gonna do some stalking and see if I can catch up on a couple of deer. I'm gonna walk up this road here and what I'm looking is for tracks coming across the road. When I get all the way to the top of the road after marking any tr tracks I may have crossed, I'm gonna walk down into the middle of the woods and I'm gonna work my way back this way. And if I can find any decent deer trails that are coming from the thick stuff near the swamp up by the food in the fields, then I'm gonna lay a camera there for the next month and a half and see what I get. I already changed out the SD card, check the batteries. Got my eighters that I use here, my one sticks. There we go. Got the camera set up for the next two months. Check this trail. So I'm out on day two of collecting cameras and grapevines and also some tree stands. Uh, today I am not doing any stalking so I don't have my gun with me today uh, I simply am grabbing two cameras from the private property which are going to be moved uh, to another place in the next couple of days it's just one of my nice stands on private that rub there was not there two months ago because there's the mock scrape right here and here's a grapevine that this grapevine right here is staying. Uh, no need to move that one. It's a place that I will come back to hunt, obviously. Man, that's nice. Got a bunch more rubs in here. Here's my water tank. And there's my tree stand up there. So I've had this out here for a couple of weeks. I've seen tons of deer on it. I know there's deer in here. I'm going to go move this camera to a place on public to see if I can uh, find deer at another spot that I want to scout for next year. Right below my stand. Both cameras pulled off a of private. I gotta go get a tree stand out now which is not going to be fun. Six tenths of a mile walk downhill. So I can carry the ladder and this thing on stand six tenths of a mile uphill in the snow. Okay, gotta take this baby down and take it back home. Okay. 
camera's still working. Last pictures it has are of me. Not many pictures on there though. I guess one of the reasons I didn't sit here this year. Cameras just didn't justify. I have a deer on there on the 13th. And the scrape was open at that point. So we'll see. Turn it off, get it home, evaluate it there. Well, all the work is scouting this area. I never hunted it once this year. I had plans to hunt it, but two things happened. One, I got a monster buck on October 21st on a different piece of public where I was keeping an eye on a couple of big buck. And number two, I just didn't see a lot on the camera here. Uh, I do know that there is a spot around this huge clear cut in which I am gonna come back and uh, put a cell camera over the summer and next fall. It's actually in the clear cut itself and inside the clear cut, maybe by about 90 yards, there's this little oak flat that's right inside the clear cut. I really think if I can find a way to get in there quietly and have a stand in there ready to go, that this is a place once there begins to be a little bit of pressure at the end of archery season, beginning a gun for me to go and uh, get right into the actual bedding area of some of these deer and have all day sits. That's why I wore the light layers today. A little chilly walking down here, but I knew going back up, I was gonna get tired and overheated. Well, that was a good day. Got three grapevines, got three cameras, two cameras I'm taking back and putting somewhere else in a different public property next week. One camera, cell camera I moved right away. Uh, after Christmas, there's still some muzzleloader season. So I wanna see whether it's a spot I wanna sit. So I've got that camera up for a week, that cell cam. And uh, I got one of my four tree stands out. The one that was the most difficult to remove. So that's good. Great day. Now time to head home. I'm out again today. Just finishing up with the uh, remainder of my tree stands. I've got three left to bring in off of public land. And uh, I've got five cameras today that in the middle to end of December, I'm taking from areas that I don't think were real productive this fall. And I'm putting them in areas where I'd like to scout this coming spring. Got this camera set up. Got one logging road there. I got another logging road there. Goes up this steep face, which kind of pinches them down against here. Goes up another logging road right there. Goes down a logging road there. And goes down another logging road there. I just put up uh, another camera on one of those first trees right there, coming out of those hemlocks. The deer walk right up the edge of the creek right here. And uh, there's two trails that come along the edge of the creek. One that goes right along there, and another one that goes diagonally up there where there's some more hardwoods. They knew it happened eventually. Uh, they couldn't get to my camera, but they left my camera open, so who knows what damage they did to it. And uh, I think they took the SD card out of it. I can't tell it's like climb up there, but. Oh yeah, SD card's gone, man. Jeez. Hopefully it makes you feel cool by stealing somebody else's crap. Supposedly, we're all part of the same hunting fraternity, right? The brotherhood, right? Well, not a brotherhood when you get idiots that steal people's stuff. Cameras, cards stand just really makes me mad other people can't leave stuff alone i know i'm not the only one i've been very fortunate over the first two years of public knock on wood it's been the first thing i've had taken and it's not like it's a big money value but i was also looking to see if a buck had made it through the season you know one of the top three biggest bucks i saw this year and my card's gone so i will not know the answer to that question 
I'm putting my cell cam in here for December, January, and maybe February. And then I'm gonna come back in and take a look and see what I have and determine whether or not this is a place that I wanna hunt next fall. My only concern is the fact that it's close to the road and I'm worried about pressure. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna sell cam in here early next fall, October, and uh, we'll go from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's really important to have trail cameras to use to gain as much data as you possibly can. And leaving them out December, January, February helps you get an idea of deer numbers in areas that you've never been in before and also gives you an idea of any shooters that may be on new land or bucks on property you've hunted that still survive the hunting season. I hope that you guys have a great day. It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya. You guys having fun today? out teaching Aspen how to shed hunt. I know, good boys.